I am on the third world server and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Tyreme that has been built by Turns the Page, TTP 101 and also after that we'll just basically do an update on all the progress that's been made on this Mushroom Island here and we'll just take a take a dinghy here to the Tyreme. Come on dinghy. Dinghy. There we go. Let's ride this very hard to control dinghy to the Tyreme. Uh, no, no, no. Alright, we'll get out here. And I have only seen the exterior of the Tyreme. I have not, well I've seen the interior but it was not finished when I saw the interior. So we'll take a look around this vessel here. Captain spelled out a V for some reason. I don't know. And this uh, this Tyreme reminds me a lot of the Tyremes from Age of Empires so that's pretty cool to me. You can't really climb up these sails of these ladders I don't think. Well, perhaps you can to an extent. Anyways, we'll go into the first galley, and there's some space, there's a table here and a couple of chairs to eat at the table. Not a lot of, not a, definitely not enough space for everyone. And then there's some lounge area here, which is not on for some reason. And what I assume is the captain's area. Oh, and so, so lots of luxurious open space on the first galley. Second galley is where the oarsmen row the boat, and over here is uh, no long breaks. Galley do not row themselves. Whip slave is a happy slave. This must be where the slave driver whips them into shape. And there's some beds over here, though, I, unless they're sharing the beds, there doesn't seem to be quite enough beds for all the slaves, but it would not be surprising for the slave, most of the slaves. Maybe this is just for the slave drivers, the non-slave crew members, these beds. And then the uh, slaves are just sort of chained to where they row the oars, man the oars. And down below here is, uh, I forget what prison, what the prisons are called on ships. I forget the nautical term for prison on a vessel. The brig? That's what it is. The brig. So brig and some hydroponics going on here, surprisingly enough. Oh, I was just randomly throwing that word out there, hydroponics, but that's in fact what he's calling it. Uh, which is interesting. And we'll take a quick fly around the exterior to get a good look at it. And breaking out of what's typically character for me, I will briefly give a summarization about the history of Tyremes. Uh, Tyremes were a Greek vessel and that uh, was propelled both by sail and oars. Now the reason why the Tyremes are, in addition to the sails propelled by the oars, was so that they could increase their velocity. And while it's true that most people want their modes of transportation to go faster, this isn't so much for convenience, more for the more practical purpose of war. Because Tyremes, what was special about them, than more so than any other classical uh, naval vessel, was the fact that they had the front of the ships covered typically in bronze for the purpose of ramming into the sides of other ships and sinking them. It was very effective. I think the only other naval vessel in that classical area, era that was more effective was, and I don't know the name of it, but it was some sort of vessel that they fired, uh, launched flaming material off of, uh, ballistas and uh, catapults 
onto other ships to burn them, but often, oftentimes the tire room is just as effective with that, if not more, because a huge ship plunging into the side of a another ship uh, causes quite a big hole, a lot faster than uh, it would take for fire to burn. And also the issue of fire at sea is that there's plenty of water to put it out. But anyways, let's turn our fly. Oh. Not like that. And take a look at what's changed on the Mushroom Island. In fact, two uninhabited Mushroom Islands have been found not far from here. Uh, tower plan, do not disturb. Cobblestone, stone brick. Four. Okay, yeah. Aethel talked to me about that. Um, okay, so the... Oh, well, I'll check that later. I think I know who put that there. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if that's unanimous, if everyone's decided they want to call this place Mycelia. But for now, this island is an unincorporated town, so it's a... Uh, yeah, whatever. This, since the last video, this has been built up by Simpson Fly. And... He hasn't built anything inside because he doesn't really care. He just built it because he built the foundation back when he first came on this island. And instead of, uh, he decided to build it up because he said he was tired of looking at the foundation. Although, he could have just as easily tore down that foundation since it was just a cobblestone square and let someone else use the space. Space is challenged here. Oh, there, oh, there it is. Let's put this on. Oh, cat. Eh. Yeah, let's let's do. I would rather do weights. And this is also new, I believe, a message board. And yeah, there's nothing really important to look at that. This little garden area over here is new. Um, they got grass blocks here by... Well, I'm not sure how they did. They've got mossy cobblestone here. I think they bought the mossy cobblestone rather than mined it. Either that or they used the MCMMO feature, which allows you to right-click on cobblestone with uh, seeds in your hand, and there's a rare chance for turning the cobblestone into mossy cobblestone. And over here... Uh, is a new NPC trader that trades for mycelium, cobblestone, chiseled stone, and buys lapis. Uh, and this is probably going to be the last uh, NPC trader that I make using the NPC trader shopkeepers mod. The reason behind that is I have figured out that uh, Minecraft Essentials plugin has a built-in sign shop. So I will be switching to that, mostly because it uses uh, a currency, a the Essentials currency. So I would prefer to use that than having people trade physical items. I'll try to avoid the barter system, and it looks like Lego God is working on something in here, but is not done with it yet. And I'm not sure what they're saying. I'm having a... Not really paying attention. Uh, sort of cubered our way up this. Is that how it's said? Is that what it's called? That old weird game, arcade game, Cubert, where you jump on the squares? I don't know. I never played the game. I just am vaguely aware of it. Exists. Uh, over here, someone built this mushroom house. I don't know if it was Zero Miko or Mr. Juicebox or Jailbreaker. It's one of those three for sure. Uh, actually, I think it's either Jailbreaker or Juicebox, but it's not accessible from the outside. I don't know if there's some kind of tunnel system to get inside there. I've never found it. So, you can't really, I can't really see. I suspect that they use a warp, or not a warp, uh, like slash home to get in there, which is kind of a waste since there's a warp in this area already. 
So it would be more efficient to just use the warp here and set the slash home somewhere else. And it looks like they're all over here. Why are they all over here? That's what are they saying? Okay. Oh, okay. He's filling out the map, so that's why he's over here. What is what is Papa Friend doing? I don't know. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the entrance to whoever's house. This is this is Zero Miko's place. So it's pretty small, and this mushroom right here is for collecting soup, I guess. If you use a wooden bowl and right-click it on a mushroom, you get soup, which is really weird and slightly disturbing, I would think. So that basically means you're collecting a hot liquid that's mushroomy, so, so a musky liquid from a living mammal, and then consuming it. Kind of weird. I don't know, I guess that doesn't sound, I don't know. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed off, uh, ooh, what is his name, uh, Cabius's thing over there, and Aethel sort of had a house over here, but I think he's mainly moved over to this castle over there, which I'm not going to show, even though it's new, because it's not finished yet. At least I don't think it's finished, since the inside is undecorated. But I don't know if Aethel actually plans on decorating it. I have no idea. I'll talk to him about it eventually. And that pretty much does it for the Mushroom Island, which... I still don't know what everyone says they want to call it. I doubt this is unanimous. I think uh, Simpson Fly just put that there, because I know that, yeah, Simpson Fly wants to call it Mycelia, but anyways. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys later. Goodbye.